Hi everyone, uh, uh, I have a, a new presentation today entitled The Clinical Use of Topiramate for the Prevention of Migraine. Now let's talk briefly about migraine. Migraine is a neurological disorder and it could be associated with many manifestations such as severe unilateral headache, nausea, photophobia, or we call it light sensitivity, people become irritable uh, to light, and phonophobia, which is sound sensitivity, and the patient becomes irritable to any sound, and some patient may end up with trouble speaking when they have uh, a migraine attack. Now, the migraine attacks can be classified into two kinds, episodic migraine attacks, and here uh, the patient suffers from headache or migraine uh, less than 15 days per month. Whereas the patient who suffer from chronic uh, migraine, uh, they usually have at least 15 headache days per month and at least eight days uh, will be migraine uh, per month. And this usually uh, happens over a period of at least three months. Now, topiramate, as you know, is an anti-epileptic drug. It is used mainly for the treatment of epileptic seizures. However, this drug has been approved by the FDA for the prevention of migraine headache. Now, the exact mechanism uh, by which topiramate prevents migraine is still unknown. However, the possible mechanism how topiramate may prevent migraine could be by decreasing the excitability of the neurons in the brain. And topiramate uh, decreases the frequency of the migraine attacks when it is used regularly for at least one month and the full benefit is usually achieved after regular use for two to three months now we start usually with a low dose and the initial dose is 25 milligram daily and then the dose is increased gradually by 25 milligram every week until the maintenance dose is reached, which is between 50 to 100 milligram twice daily. Like any other medication, topiramate has side effect, including tiredness, drowsiness, uh, dizziness, loss of coordination, uh, tingling of the feet, tingling of the hands, uh, loss of appetite, and a decrease in the body weight. Actually, the loss of appetite and the decrease in the body weight uh, is utilized for patients who are overweight. And this drug is also prescribed to decrease the body weight for some patients, not for all patients. Uh, another side effect, uh, bad taste in the mouth, and some patient may end up with diarrhea. And also other patient may have confusing, uh, confusion, uh, slow thinking, trouble concentrating or focusing, uh, trouble paying attention, and nervousness. Uh, the other side effect may include uh, memory problems, speech problems, language problems, and signs of kidney stones. Uh, regarding the drug-drug interaction of topiramate, uh, enzyme inducers like phenytone or phenobarb may decrease the blood levels of topiramate. And also topiramate may decrease the blood levels of the ethanyl estradiol which is usually used in the combined oral contraceptive, uh, contraceptive pills and this may lead to a decrease in the efficacy 
of the birth control pills. So the bottom line of this presentation, uh, patients on topiramate should not expect a decrease in the frequency of migraine attacks before at least one month and full benefit full benefit may not be achieved before two to three months thank you very much for listening and watching and have a wonderful day